And let's roll on into the conversations app, which is a rather good pairing, actually. Good. So I've set up a small relationship of boards. So I have this group board here, and then I have a board with deliverables. And these are the deliverables that we can see here as well. Uh, so it's the same deliverables, quite easy example. So in expansion 4.0, I've written an update, write something about expansion 4.0. In the VIP package, I've actually said the VIP package will look something like this. And then I've inserted one of our nice artworks. Ooh. And then link to some items in another board. So let's jump over to that board. Okay, so I have a comment on level one design, an update about level design. Really, really, really... Uh, imagination is flooding here <laughs> and then i have sub items on level one design and on this first sub item i have a checklist and a very messy note right so with the conversation app we can have sub items showing on the main item and connected items showing together so when i go to level design the conversation app is you add a view, you add the conversation as a tab. It hopefully lets all write to Monday and say, we want to allow for third party apps in the item card because the, the conversation app will be perfect in the item card. <laughs> yeah. So that, that and the update field actually. <laughs> yeah, the app update field is actually coming. I, I know for a fact uh, it's in the roadmap. Good. Yeah. <laughs> So let's let's go to this conversation tab here. And you remember I showed you the sub items. So what we're seeing now is I have a chain of linked items. So everything that can be linked is linked. So I'm getting the ugly note for Frederick. I got the checklist, but the checklist doesn't carry over. So you need to actually click here. I got the update about the level design. I wrote something about expansion 4.0 and my VIP, VIP package because two of them are in the sub item. Two of them are in these connected items as well. So I'm seeing everything in one chronological flow that's related to each other, which is really, really powerful. And yeah. um, since we are coming from the emails and activities here, we're kind of talking like a CRM kind of situation. Uh, and here you can really see bringing stuff together. So if you're on the company level and seeing everything that's happened down with your contacts, because a single company might have 10, 20, 30 different contacts for different departments, but then we can actually roll up all of that information and have that company wide view, what's happening with this company, especially yeah. if we are different salespeople working on different opportunities with different departments, but within the same company. And if you're working with larger corporations like, you know, Fortune 500 or Fortune 5000 at least, that's probably going to happen because, and actually that happened to us with, with uh, let's say, unnamed Swedish um, car maker, and someone goes and uh, talks to their marketing department, someone else goes to talk to their project office. Yeah, but then it would actually would be really, really good. Now we're a smaller company, so we actually talk to each other. But when you grow, it's nice to know what the right hand and the left hand is doing while you're sitting there like a talking head in the middle. Yeah. And obviously, we can power load the conversation app uh, to show us every single thing in a very holistic way. So I want to show you a few automations that I actually want to uh, fight for. So. When an item is created, then I want to create an update. Remember, this board was called deliverables. It's automation, right? Uh, when, uh, let's go in here and say, uh, when status changes on, and let's do the status on the sub item, changes to done, then create an update.
right? You with me so far? I think we are. Cool. So let's say I create deliverable. Uh, uh, hang on. Let's make a deliverable in the main item here. Let's create uh, test item X and test item Y. Let's connect both of these two to our expansion 4.0 which is just a good placeholder name. Let's go into the sub items and let's be a little creative and change these back to working on it. And then let's say done. Let's say done. Let's say done. So first of all, do I have uh, Thomas Carlson created a new deliverable, right? I have that here as well. And it's from Monday Automations. I have the same thing on uh, I did not get that from automation. Um, no, it's only on the main line. Yeah, I'm let's sure. let's make it on the main uh, when status changes to done. Create update. There we go. Create automation. Working on it. Done. And so we go back to groups and then now when we check out the expansion 4.0 in the conversation app, we start not only getting inform important information, but we also get all these mark something as done, created a new deliverable. So we can see a very comprehensive holistic flow. And this would be same, obviously, if we use it from a CRM perspective, Thomas created a new opportunity. We closed a deal with this company. Um, then they submitted a new support ticket. But the idea with the conversation app is for $7.99 a month, you can get everything collated instead of having to look at five different places to get a holistic view of one of your uh, main uh, uh, entities. And this is also interesting because when you look at this, you see the breadcrumb of where expansion for level design and so on. So you can always click the uh, chat bot box and you get straight to that item, even if it is in another board. So you never need to understand your navigation. And I did, I did set up the automation correctly. I just wasn't patient enough when we looked at it, like always. How do you find the conversation? You go down to your portrait, you go to the app marketplace, you write Omnipass, and you find our free apps in the, in the app store, conversations available here. Uh, is the conversation app a one-time payment or a monthly payment? It, it's a monthly service. All of our apps are, are monthly uh, uh, subscriptions. The conversation app is seven ninety nine dollars monthly. Yeah, and that's a the whole account, not per person or anything. The whole no. monthly account, no matter how many users you have, how many items or item cards you have installed it on. Yeah, so... Seven ninety nine, and that's it. You yeah, can use yeah. as much as you want to, and that always goes for the 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 only one is actually TRS, which is basically user based. But the both funnels and conversations are both. Uh, it's a one one fee. It's for the covers the whole account. Just go nuts. Yeah, uh, it's TRS, the time recording solution. That's a user based. Thing. All right. So if we don't have any more questions from you, then it's actually time for me and Thomas to say goodbye.